when you taste something sweet, can you taste it so thoroughly that you taste the flavor of no flavor? When you taste something sweet, can you taste it so directly that there's no sweetness? When you take a breath, can you feel the sensation of breathing so fully, no distance, that there is no breath? When you feel sadness, can you be so engulfed, so non-resistant, so fully sad, that there is no sadness? When you listen, can you hear what's there so clearly, so fully, with so much heart that you hear the silence that's also there. No sound, no sensation, no taste, no movement. When you're in this place where nothing rustles, nothing moves, then you're also in the place where stillness and movement aren't too. Where sweetness and flavorlessness are not too. Where breath and no breath are not too. Where life and death are not too. This is where life always is. This is where living truth always is. You can't be apart from this. You've never been apart from this. Doesn't matter what the mind says. Doesn't matter what the story, the narrative, in the chattering mind says. And there's nowhere you can go. You're already here. Everything's already here. No thing is already here. Enlightenment is already here. So when you know this, you don't have to intellectualize and tell yourself there's nothing to do. There's no practice. Because practice is this. Inquiry is this. When you inquire, you're not apart from this. Of course. So asking, what am I? Who am I? Where am I? Is already fulfillment. The frustration that arises with the question is already fulfillment. The doubt is already enlightenment. The grief is already enlightenment. Don't discount these experiences. Feel so deeply into them that everything stops till you see the other side. And then once you see the other side, you see there is no side, only what is. You could call it unity, but it has no name. You could call it liberation, but it has no name, needs no name needs no description. It calls you always. Just listen. Feel. Breathe. Inquire.